Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio. Um, I'm very excited because we are going to start with um, preparing our canvas for our beautiful Protea painting. And I found, um, I printed out a reference image. And um, in today's lesson, I am going to tell you a bit about preparing your canvas for oil painting as well as how to get this picture onto a large canvas especially if you're not good with drawing or if it's the first time that you are going to um, paint with oil paint and sketch or draw a protea flower onto a large canvas so i've got um, in front of me i've got um, dala's acrylic gesso and the canvas primer and it is it basically has the same functionality it is a creamy high-end primer that you use to coat um, canvases before applying the paint and all it does is it improves the paint adhesion to the surface so um, you can use either the gesso or the canvas primer um, it doesn't matter um, the acrylic gesso is just um, also just more suitable for acrylic paints but um, I primed the canvas with the um, primer with a sponge brush and I just put one um, coat on it and let it dry. Okay, so now um, I'm going to show you there are different ways um, for you to transfer um, a reference image onto a larger canvas. Um, I'll, I'll move the camera a little bit later. The canvas is too big to bring into this um, recording area. So one of the one of the methods is of course freehand drawing. You know, you just take your image and and um, draw it onto your canvas. But um, if you a beginner and if you're not that good with proportions, it can be um, difficult. And I want you to be able to paint. Um, a beautiful protea at the end so one of the other methods that artists normally use is to um, use a proportional divider where you actually um, set the, um, um, the size um, in the middle bar here and then what you would normally do is you would start um, measuring your picture and then you would use that area on your canvas but I'm not going to explain this or go into depth about this I'm going to show you a simple and easy although a bit time consuming method but um, we will um, you will be able to draw your protea onto your canvas okay so the first thing I'm going to do is my canvas is 710 by 560 millimeters so I am going to um, just um, draw blocks of 10 by 10 centimeters onto my canvas. Of course the last one um, is going to be slightly bigger but I'm not worried about that. To draw um, I'm using an HP pencil because I don't want um, the lines to be too heavy too dark because I want to be able to erase it um, afterwards like I said it is a bit time consuming to do this method but believe me, if um, you're not good with proportions, it's going to take you the same time with all the drawing and erasing um, to get your protea perfect than to do this. So. 
just use this method it's nothing wrong um, with um, using this method to um, enlarge your image Yes, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks across and one, two, three, four, five um, down. So um, I'm going to now just um, draw the same amount of blocks over my protea. Okay, now to get seven blocks across is easy mathematics. I just take um, the 290 millimeters and I divide it by seven. And I see that each block must be 4.1 centimeters. But because I've got quite a bit of white space here, I'm going to make my blocks 4 by 4 centimeters. So now um, I've got the grid lines over the protea. So you can easily now use this as a reference to draw onto your canvas, but I'm going to show you another trick. Um, okay, now I am going to um, make a mask for this grid. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, lift it up and um, put dots the dots of the center square on my piece of paper and i'm just going to um, draw a four by four centimeter block for myself and like i said you can you can use the um, the image with the grid um, lines just as it is but um, this will just make it easier for um, those um, that really struggles with proportions okay so I'm not going to bother with my big cutting mat all I want to do is I want to take a craft knife and just cut out this um, block The last time I've done this was when I studied art in school. So I'm a bit rusty, so I'm learning with all of you. Okay, so now um, when you start um, transferring your image, all you do is you move um, you move the block from one square to another square so that your brain only focuses on what's going inside on inside the square and is not you're not um, distracted by the rest of the image all you have to do is just make sure that you transfer it exactly like it is in that block and then at the end we will um, uh, connect all the lines together so what I'm just going to do is um, 
I'm just going to number the blocks so that it's easier for us to know what to do. So I'm going to move the camera so that it focuses on the canvas again and we'll start um, tracing the, uh, um, transferring the image to the canvas. Okay, so I am going to start drawing. So um, my, I'm going to leave that white space. I just turned my canvas around. I'm going to leave that white space open. So I've got one, two, and this is the third block. So I'm going to um, draw on that square. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting my paper over that square. And just focusing on that image right there, that piece of leaf, I'm going to see that it's like almost three quarters up and it's right here. You can see there it's divided in half and you can see that it starts from about here and I'm just going to draw in what I see on this piece of in, in this block. I'm going to move on to the next block. There I've got that little piece of leaf. So I can easily just draw that in. And there's the half of my block. Can you see that? And then I'm just going to move slightly to the left and I'm going to draw in that petal. I'm going to zoom in with the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually zoomed in all the way so I'm going to see if I can move this a little bit closer. Okay. So now I'm moving to number five. One, two, three, four, five. Just make sure that you always work in the right um, block. So I've got that one coming out there. And I've got one tip of the petal coming out there. And then almost halfway, I've got another petal coming out there. So I'm not worried about drawing the whole protea at the moment. All I'm doing is I'm transferring what I see in each block to the canvas. Um, and at the end, um, I will look at the whole picture and I will connect everything. So moving on to number six is just a tiny little tip here in the corner. I can move down from six because I just worked on six. The second row, six, and I'm just going to do that piece there and um, draw this um, petal here. And this one also just starts slightly to the left from the halfway mark and just ends with a tip there. So I'm going to move back to the middle. So this is um, this is where we get the crown of the protea. So I'm just going to, it's just slightly over half of the block. So I'm going to just draw that and it almost ends right here at the end of the block. So I'm just going to draw that in. And then we can continue to do the um So my hand is getting a bit tired, so I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to turn my um, um, canvas, I'm going to lie it flat and I'm going to continue just 
um, with this process and um, draw the whole protein okay so um, I just finished doing all my squares and um, I just wanted you I wanted to show you that you can just um, connect the lines if it is like a millimeter out um, from one block to another then it's fine you just draw over it um, because all we want is we just want the simplified version of this protea I'm not worried about all this intricate detail here at the moment and um, just doing um, I'm just drawing it a little bit darker so that you can see it I'm just getting all the shapes that I see on this um, reference image um, in the little squares onto the um, onto the canvas so I am I normally don't draw this dark when I paint um, but I am going to do it so that you can see what I'm doing so um, this looks like a funny shape let me just looks like a funny shape it's that leaf but I'm not worried about it all we want is we we just want that shape for now we'll think about the details at a much later stage so yes yeah, so I want you to take a reference image um, and practice um, transferring it to your canvas and um, yes then next week we will start um, painting the first layer and um, the background and the f I like to, to um, paint the whole background before I work on um, my actual image because it influences the color and um, because I want to um, use this um, protea I'm going to um, make my background yellow, um, yellow and, and red or pinks is contrasting colors and it goes w well together. So I'm going to do that. So for now I am going to just erase my grid lines and um, I'm looking forward um, to see you next week and we can start painting together.